Hey everybody, it's Omi Dealburn back again with another Omi VV video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Jurassic Park posters from the UCI and AMC uh, launch. This was uh, last summer in, uh, I think it was June, June? Yeah, June 2022. Um, I'm going to be showing the unredeemed collectibles, kind of showing the, the lowest mints, uh, the listings, the, uh, the prices, and, and, and doing a little bit of a, a math here. So it's going to be a little extra stuff, not just uh, showing uh, um, just how many there are. So it's going to be a little fun at the end. So uh, stick around, uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of videos shortly on a wide range of topics and such. So uh, stay tuned and let's get to it. So this is going to be um, talking about these uh, posters, right? Jurassic World Dominion AMC Digital Collectible. Um, this one specifically is the AMC one. Right, so this other one is the UCI Germany, and this third one is the uh, Italy, UCI Italy, right? So from AMC's perspective, you kind of go in here, NFTs from AMC, you kind of see the Jurassic World Dominion uh, released June 9th, 2022. Uh, it's AMC exclusive, uh, qualifying guests who purchased uh, reserve tickets for and attended uh, showtimes, and the double feature on uh, June 9th, 2022, um, you get this uh, NFT. And it, from the NFT platform is Vivi. And uh, redemption details, uh, uh, the deadline, I should say, is uh, July 16th. So you got like a month or so to kind of redeem the collectible and such. Maybe five weeks or so. It's kind of cool to kind of see these other ones. You got one from Wax, 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 uh, Nifties, um, uh, the light year that we have in, on Vivi as well. Um, Top Guns, you know, was on Recur, Palm, the Batman, Autograph here, Wax, Nifty's Wax. So they got a wide range to go across the board for AMC. So it's kind of cool to kind of see all these in one place. So the other one is the UCI theaters. Um, I don't have this uh, locally in my area. I got the AMCs, but um, I kind of found this. Um, I think this is uh, an Italian site. Uh, it's .it, universalmovies.it. Right, so I kind of changed the language on here. Um, so this is kind of explaining um, the uh, how to get the how to redeem that NFT, right? The UCI Cinemas, a collaboration with Universal Pictures, stuff like that. So uh, is launching a unique initiative in the Italian film scene, right? By purchasing a ticket with UCI Cinemas previews online between. And this is like kind of weird. I don't know if this is why these are so scarce, but from uh, 12:01 a.m. and uh, one, I'm assuming 1 a.m. here on June 2nd, fans of the Jurassic Saga will not only be the first to see the Dominion uh, Jurassic World Dominion movie, but will be able to win win exclusive NFTs for free, uh, non fungible token Jurassic collectible. Right, so. Um, it's kind of weird that it's only like a little one hour period. I mean, like if you saw this, I'd be jumping all over that. I mean, because I'd be, it'd be one of the most scarce things, I think, because not many people are going to be, you know, buying through that, especially since it's a smaller chain in Italy as opposed to like United States is kind of like, uh, not even regional, it's kind of across the whole country. So, um,. Let's see in here. So the other details with this as well, it says starting, okay, we have on June 2nd, right, you have to buy within that one hour window. Um, you get an email code for this. Uh, starting June 16th, right, you'll get the code. It must be redeemed by July 16th. You got one month to redeem the code and, and to do so, it will be necessary to use the VV app. Okay, so they give a little shout out to Vivi. You got to download it from there. Okay, that's kind of a, yeah, like a one hour window. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so moving on. Um, Jurassic World Dominion, AMC, digital collectible. We have these three types. This is the AMC one. Um, and then uh, the other ones are basically the same. I mean, uh, I guess the images are different. Oh, yeah, because they put the UCI in there, so they're kind of popping up differently on the page. Uh, and this one's the exact same, so um, they're just names different. But uh, you got the Germany, um, and then you have the uh, Italian one, and so on. So you get the, the the AMC one here, 
AMC T-Rex, Bloom Beta, Dilophosaurus, Common Uncommon Rare, 35,000, 25,000, 17,000. I think they did this mainly, um, it seems too round of a number, especially with the 90. I think they might be holding back the 90 for Vivi. I'm not 100%. I mean, that's uh, it seems like it for me. Um, let me kind of move this guy down and away. Let me do that. Yeah, there we go. So um, they might be holding back the 90 uh, for Vivi. I'm not 100% how much they're going to be holding. Um, the other ones here, the UCI one as well, uh, 10,090, 5,090, 2,090. It pretty much seems like, yeah, it, 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 like Vivi is going to hold back the 90 on here. And this is 1,590, 1,095, So I'm going to kind of roll with that and say Vivi is going to keep 90 of these. So um, for down the line, I guess some of the other ones, I mean, like the Black Panther poster video I just did uh, like a few hours ago. Um, but uh, it was uh, February 9th. We'll call this one February 10th. It's after midnight. Um, it, it was 1,440, and, they're, it, it, you know, uh, the, um, the assumption is that they're going to keep 40 of them. So this one being 90 is kind of a little bit weird. So, But this was also before uh, the, uh, uh, this is six months before the Black Panther one. So then maybe they changed their terms. So going from here, now let me kind of bring up, let me bring up the uh, spreadsheet. So, kind of bring it up. This is the AMC one. I'm kind of uh, I'll put it down here as the name and the edition. Um, you got I put all three of them together, um, and this is the transfers uh, kind of uh, information from from and to. So if, to see if somebody would redeem something. So, kind of seeing here the Dilophosaurus uh, was redeemed uh, number 41, but the 41 of the blue and beta in the T-Rex was not redeemed. So um, I'm going to show you in the next screen to kind of uh, see which one's the lowest mid, but you can kind of see on here and kind of do your own, uh, uh, take a look yourself and kind of see which one's the lowest mint of each. So you get the 41 for the AMC Dilophosaurus, and then 43 for the T-Rex, and then the blue and beta is going to be the lowest mint. It's going to be 44. So the other ones are not minted, so tough luck if you wanted that mint. But kind of scrolling through, these are all these other ones. I can kind of scroll uh, back to this um, after looking at some of the stats. So I'm going to be going to, um, now we're going to be looking at the UCI. And going through here, let's see what we got. So uh, same thing here, the UCI, uh, Italy, Blue and Beta, 41. Italy, the left source, 42. Um, kind of going through here to Germany, Blue and Beta, 45. And kind of going here. Yeah, I can show you in a second right here. These are all the mints. We're going to come back to this in a second, but kind of showing this. So these, this is where the fun is going to start, I guess. The commons are the T-Rex. The uncommons are the blue and betas. The rares are the left source. Whoops. Wrong clicks. I'm kind of going to the website. I got links on there. Let me kind of bring that up. Excuse me. And there. Back again. So common, uncommon, rare, and across the board. So this is like the first one I kind of came across. I kind of had um, a lot of varying different numbers of, of, of redeemed and unredeemed and so on, where you, and the prices and such, and they're the exact same collectible with a different logo. Um, and it's kind of, you know, Interesting that you can do a little bit of math on here and say, hey, are these underpriced or overpriced? You know, it's it's kind of hard to compare a lot of these collectibles. You got different IPs. You got the Star Wars. You got the Disney's. You got the Mickey's. Is Mickey better than, you know, this one or that one? It, you know, it's just, it's kind of a, um, it's different, right? So, but this is exactly the same except for a logo. So, unless you have a, a preference of UCI over AMC, um, you have the exact same collectible where you have um, a bunch of different prices for it. So you kind of look in here, you have the T-Rex UCI Germany, none of them were redeemed. The Dilophosaurus Rare um, Germany, none of them were redeemed. That's why you see nothing listed in the store at all. And the only one that was actually redeemed, I don't know why, this is, I don't have an explanation for this, but um, there's 610 redeemed. Um, for the 
Germany Blue and Beta, and that's the only one that has been redeemed at all. So of the uh, UCI Germany. So take it any way you want. I'm not sure exactly the details over it, but um, now you're looking at some of these other ones on the UCI Italy. Uh, 37 were redeemed in total. Now if VV keeps 90 of them. Now we're talking about you just uh, you know triple the supply. Um, more than triple the supply to be honest um, it's kind of a, a little bit too much I think um, but hopefully you don't keep that many even like the 40 at this point if you're only keeping 37 it's kind of a, kind of crazy but um, now let me bring something else up here okay now uh, looking at these other ones 482 here 262 here and then you go to the US um, uh, based um, locations the AMC and they got it's worldwide as well. I think I think this was worldwide. Um, AMC does this different locations, and I think they might own UCI. Is kind of uh, working as a, a DBA, doing business as UCI in Italy and Germany and such like that. I'm I'm not 100% on that, on that end, but yeah, this kind of brings me a unique situation where um, does this actually change the rarities of these collectibles? I mean, looking at them, you got 37 here, but it's a common. Does that make any sense to you? It doesn't make any sense to me. So, uh, but looking at the common and uncommon rare here, uh, this is more like a secret rare as opposed to here. And this is like a super super secret rare, you know. And this is like a, you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, you can kind of look at these. Um, the prices here. This is the current prices. This was actually like when I when I first started the video it was at 22 listings, and it was 25 dollars, and then it went to 18 out of nowhere and and went up a buck. So I don't know, delisted maybe something happened maybe at, at, at my you know at uh, midnight or something like that same things got delisted but I was kind of looking at some math right here we got also got the lowest mints down here is what I was kind of saying 45 for the blue and beta 166 41 42 43 44 41 these are the lowest mints on all of these kind of use this as a reference now does this change the values of these as well so looking at the uh, I was kind of messing around with it a bit ago um, Take a look at this. Uh, take a look at the blue and beta, right? <clears throat> There's 482 of them. And I'm looking at the either one. You can look at this one. This is because I saw the disparity of this. Um, $26 for this one. There's 610 of them. This one's 95, and there's 482 of these. It's like, how does that make any sense? You know, it's just like, that's kind of weird. This one should be higher, or this one should be lower. You know, in some in some weird way. So you can kind of do a little bit of math here. You kind of go, like I could say, hey, uh, let me do it by the uh, redeemed collectibles, and kind of uh, click on this guy divided by this one. Now we have a 79%. So if we took this value, 79%, then uh, we multiply. Let me reach over. We reach over and hit this one. That's going to be the ninety-five dollar here. This is seventy-five dollars, and that's what um, this would come up as uh, the value of the uncommon blue and beta Germany, um, based on this calculation. Um, which is, you know, it's it's you can do this calculation across the board, and you can kind of look at some other ones as well. Um, you can do the same thing with, uh, let's say, look at this one, Dilophosaurus here, the rare, this one's, a little, this one's about 10% of uh, 10 or 12% or whatever, uh, or I'm sorry, 9% or so of this value. So you can kind of look at this and say, hey, equals uh, Dilophosaurus, you can kind of divide that um, by this, and that gives you 9.4% of this value. So if you kind of take that value and you multiply that by the $300 mark, that gives you a $28 value and 15 cents for this Dilophosaurus if you take that off of that one, right? So the way I was kind of looking at it, I was like, okay, this is only like 262. It's a small sample size. You know, this value could be a, a wide ranging floor. Um, there's a lot of factors with it and such like that. So what I would probably say is they take the most liquid market that's on here, 
Um, let's take a look at the ones that are on the AMC side and take a look at these values. These are more liquid. This is uh, the more realistic value of something and see if we can value these other ones based on this one. And so we can do the same thing with the T-Rex. Um, I guess the T-Rex is only, only one uh, sample here. So we got, this is really, yeah, this is a really hard one. I'm probably not going to do that one because it's not going to really be an accurate depiction of it, but I don't know. We'll come back to it. So let's do the blue and beta because we've got three values here. We kind of do the one and go from there. So let's take this one and let's see. We divide it by the 482 here. It gives me like an 8.65 multiple of that, right? So then we do equals the multiple and multiply the $9.60 that we have here. Now that would value this blue and beta uncommon at $83.09. Um, that's from here. That would be this guy right here. So I don't like having a different color. Let's put it on there like that. That's what that would be, right? That's what the accurate depiction of that value based on a more liquid market that you have over here. So we do the Dilophosaurus, let's, let's check this one out. Well, you know what, let's do the other one here. Let's do the same thing here with the redeemed. And we kind of go off of the redeemed off the UCI Germany. And now that's a six multiple. So you kind of take that value, 6.8, kind of put it here. That would value this one at 65.66. So that would value this one here. Let's put it in blue. And why I can't find the blue? That's not cool. Let me do that way. And there you go. That's what that one should be valued at, based on the more liquid market and what you see on here. So doing math like this on something that is more um, uh, I mean this is the only example I've seen so far that has a I can't think of another one right now but this is uh we'll be able to do some some little arbitrage or a little bit of math here to kind of give you a better value of, of something that's not as liquid to something that is more liquid so um, and you kind of look at the same thing in the last one let me see uh, Dilophosaurus here kind of doing um, let me see, I guess we're going to be doing this one because it's the only one we got. We're going to be doing, let's say, this one and then multiply that guy by this. That would give this one a value of $300, or not $300, that would give you a value of 170 That's the values that are, and while we're at it, let's just knock this one out too. I don't know, I even know what it would come up as because there's only 37 of them and that's extremely low. <laughs> so low. So it's going to be very, very hard to value something like this. But that would put it at a real value based on a more liquid market at $1,013. So uh, I don't want to um, harp on anybody's uh, listing or anything like that, but that's just, you know, looking at math right here. That's just all I'm doing. And math is math. So, I'm going to throw, what am I going to do? I'm going to put that one here. I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that one there. And that's kind of how I would kind of uh, look at something like this. Kind of looking at the, the values on here, looking at the details with it. It kind of give me some kind of edge and say, hey, this is underpriced. This blue one's underpriced. Um, this one's a little bit overpriced, and this one's a little bit overpriced, and this one's uh, more overpriced. But it, it's a small floor. There's only five listings. So, it, it, you know, it is what it is um, to each his own. And, uh, yeah, hope you like it. Um, oh, you know what? Let's kind of go this way. Um, let's kind of take a look at some of these other listings over here, or not listings, uh, uh, mints, and kind of show a little bit about the um, uh, specific mints that are here. So we're going to look at the UCI Blue and Beta. Okay, the first 40, I'm assuming that's going to be uh, VV stuff. So there is a 45, 46, 47, 51, 54, 61, and 69. Let me actually do this. Let me get rid of this. Let me go down. Let me, oh, I'm doing it backwards. 
Let me show all of these and take off the blanks. These are the mints that are actually available for the UCI Germany Blue and Beta 46 or 45, you know, and so on. And then we're going to take a look at the, there's only four of them, obviously. The other ones, there's no, there's no mints for them. This is the Italy Blue and Beta. Uh, 41 is the lowest one, 40 is, there's a lot of lower ones. These other ones are just transferred four times or sold four times. Uh, this was the original uh, VV transfer to somebody, um, uh, to the initial person that actually minted it, and then it was sold three times after that. So uh, that's why you see multiple of that. Um, so these are the ones over here, and then we kind of go to, let's see, if I'm going to go to the UCI Italy Dilophosaurus. These are the lowest mints for the, uh, the Italy Dilophosaurus, uh, 42, 46, all the way to uh, 81. And then we're going to go to the T-Rex, and the lowest mint on the T-Rex, 166, 173, 220, 241, and so on, all the way to 1,000. I don't know why. But there is, that's the lowest mint that's on here. And I think that's it for that one. And, and kind of jump over to the AMC one. Let's just knock out the, uh, the blanks here as well. Let's go there. So we have the, and this is just to bring everybody, so you have, okay, 44, 47, 48, 54. These are for the low mint hunters. And then we're going to go to the Dilophosaurus, 41s, 47s, 49s, and so on. And then we are going to go to the T-Rex. This is the last one, 43s, 50s, and 59s. This skips a lot. I don't know what's up with the T-Rex. That's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is what it was, or it is, and it should be there. So, yeah. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and let me know what you think. This was a long one, but I kind of wanted to show this little arbitrage little thing and, and kind of uh, go along with that, and uh, there was a lot of information, to put it that way. So I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of videos soon, and uh, wide-ranging of videos, and not just these uh, um, unredeemed collectibles, but um, a lot of things are going to be coming out and a lot of in the works. So uh, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification and let me know what you think. Hit the comment below. Let me know if this helped you. It hurts you. I don't know if I'm going to drop any listings, but uh, take care.